Well, it is definitely uh, a bit chillier than it was the last time I fished right here. So I don't know how this is going to work out. There's only one way to find out. Oh, 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 we're getting some action. Yeah, a little bit of action going on there. All right, let's try and get it a little further out. Oop, they stole the worm. All right, I got you. I see you. I see you. Whatever's playing with that must be extremely tiny. And no. This looks like it could be a little bit more promising. Hey, how's it going, guys? Y'all mind if I uh, jump in real quick? Yeah? Hmm. No. I got something for him. I got something for him, y'all. You just, you just, you just wait. Hi, making bone gang. Vinny here. Welcome to the channel. Glad you stopped by. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So the goal today is uh to catch some bait. I was trying to do it with the rod and reel, as you seen, wasn't having any luck. I know, especially in that little last spot. I know they got got some fish down there. And one kind of fish in particular that we're hunting is uh the Rio Grande cichlid, the little invasive panfish uh that ain't supposed to be here wreaking all kinds of havoc. But uh, I'll show y'all one of those when we get them. But uh, I know that there's gotta be fish in that hole so about to bust out the cast net about to bust out the old cast net and uh and toss it down there and uh, hopefully we can pick some up because tomorrow tomorrow we're going to put out jug lines that'll be the, that'll be a different video that'll be the next video we got to get some bait and uh what better to use for bait than a fish that they don't want in there to begin with right you know i can't catch uh i don't think i don't think it's legal to catch perch or excuse me bluegill with a cast net and keep it i gotta say bluegill because the last i had a comment on the last video because we call them perch down here we call all them little little sunfish perch i know it's not a perch but somebody got bent out of shape right wrote a whole paragraph about uh how that's not a perch but anyway i digress let's go uh let's go toss that cast net and see what we can get because i know they're there i know i know they're there all right y'all we're about to find out how many fish they got in here. As you can see, right here is a lot deeper than right here and on the other side. Where this culvert's coming in, it, must, it probably digs a hole as that water pours out of there. Because I can see the bottom right there. I can see the bottom over there. And this is the spot my buddy Blaine took me to uh, last time. That last uh, jug line video that we did. This is where we come got the bait. And just two casts with the cast net had more bait than we knew what to do with. So I know they're there. They just don't feel like biting the worm today, I guess. But they ain't got a choice with a cast net. Oh, I'm seeing flickering already. Cool, there we go. Look at that. Ooh, that's all shad. And a baby bass. Maybe that's why we wasn't catching nothing with the worm. I'm looking for them cichlids, but uh, you know what? I ain't gonna turn down them shads. Oh, there's one of the cichlids. There it is. Oh yeah, we got a few cichlids. Got two little baby bass. Them gotta go back. Go grow some more, little buddy. Where your other ones at? There it is. There you go. Get on out of here. Shoo, buddy. I like that. I love it when a plan comes together. We got shad. We got shad, more shad. That's a lot of shad. There they are. This is the real grand cichlid right here. That's what I was looking to get right there. The illegal fish. Oh, oh. Come here, you. I'm trying to show you to the camera. There you go. That's him, y'all. The real grand cichlid. They call them Texas blues. They call them uh, real grand cichlids. I think there's another name for them. Anyway, these things are uh, invasive down here in Louisiana. In case y'all not familiar with them, they come from the Rio Grande River in Texas. The only cichlid native to the United States, but they're just not native to here. So they're actually an invasive species down here. They outcompete our native species of bluegill perch that uh, that swim around these parts. 
So, uh, Wildlife Fisheries has a kill order on it. If you catch them, you must kill them. You must not throw them back. So that's what we're going to do today while we're getting the bait. I think since we got enough shad with that one cast, I'm not going to keep any more shad because now we know we have bait. But I'm going to continue to try and get these bad boys out of that ditch. It's a losing battle. I know. We're not going to get them all. But, uh, you know, I like to do my part little by little. Every little bit helps, I reckon. And uh, like I said, if you got to get bait, you got to kill fish to catch fish. You might as well kill one that ain't supposed to be here to begin with. That needs to go. So I'm going to throw the cast net a few more times right here. Get what we can get out of here. I got a couple of ideas of other places we might be able to go catch them. And we'll see how many we can get. Oh, crap. We still got a bass caught in the net. My bad, buddy. Hold on, buddy. My bad. I'm going to get you back in. Look. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, we swam off too. Don't uh, don't go back in that hole. I don't want to catch you again. Sit tight somewhere else. Yeah, here we go. Hopefully we don't get caught nothing on the bottom. See, that was towards the edge over there, not the deep spot, and it don't look like we got anything. Nope, so they... Deep in that hole has been pretty cool the last few days. Oh, wait, we got something. Got a couple little somethings. A couple little bitty somethings. Oh, nope, those are bluegills. Those are going back. Yeah, buddy. Get, get in there. We don't want y'all. That's not what we're looking for. So, yeah, it's been cold the last few days. Woo! -hoo -hoo. So, they probably in the deep spots oh that was that was fantastic that was absolutely fantastic glad y'all got to see that there we go that's what i wanted it got some flickering lots of flickering god look at it <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of shad. There's a lot of shad. If we was going crabbing, I'd be keeping all of that, but ah, don't look like we got what we targeting. So another little bass. Nope, nothing but shad and bass. I'll put that bass back in first. There you go. I guess that's why we weren't catching nothing on the worm, because uh. It's mostly just shad down there. Last time we came, we had a bunch of shad, but man, it was buku. Cichlids down there. Not today. I wonder where they went. Maybe we caught them all. Probably just gonna keep catching the same shad over and over again. God, look at them. Tell you what, let's just look in here. Uh, nope, I don't see. All right, let's just dump them back in the water instead of having to pick them up off the ground. There we go. That was way easier. Oh, we got one right here kind of struggling here. Come on, let me help you out. Get you in that water. There you go. All right, let's, I guess we might go... Yeah, let's just go toss it by that drain over there. See if we can't lose our cast net on something. This looks like a good spot. Not as good, because uh, we ain't even getting no shad. And it's interesting. I certainly thought this was going to be more easier than it's turning out to be. But we ain't going to give up. We know where we got bait for sure. So we ain't going to do without bait for tomorrow. But I just don't see no cichlids. Oh, we got something. No? No? Cigarette butt. Yeah, that ain't gonna do no good. All right, well now we're heading to my aunt and uncle's house down the road, not too far. It's actually 
the same it, it's a it's actually a bayou it's called bayou de famille it's actually a bayou but uh you know ever since uh we civilized the place and put these neighborhoods in there it basically just became a drainage ditch so uh it actually runs right behind that house so i'm gonna go over there where i caught i've caught a bunch of cichlid there before so we'll go try that out again the weather's a little bit different than when i usually target them so kind of a little learning experience Ooh, that's really shallow right there let's see okay it gets deep by the culvert Ooh, there's some turtles running away but uh man that's three more turtles right there six turtles right here i have to make some turtle soup all right well it's deep right here so we'll go ahead and try the worm and if that don't work then we'll uh throw the cast net oh 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 we had a bite we had a bite uh oh we got motion y'all we got motion y'all something's happening come on there we go fish on fish on oh it's a perch not the target species but uh we got something to bite and i was just talking to my uncle he just came stop by over here and we're wondering if them cichlids aren't biting because they're more of a warm water fish i mean they're over there by the rio grande river uh i ain't got a map in front of me but i'm pretty sure that's further south and stays a little warmer so i don't know correct me if i'm wrong i'm just speculating but at least there's a little bit of action I think we're gonna try this for a few more minutes and then we're gonna toss that cast net and see if there's any down there that just don't want to bite and then we move on to the next spot oh 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 action baby action of course i might need to keep some of them perch just to make sure we got enough bait oh come on another one i'll tell you what we're gonna put this one in there maybe we'll keep every other one just to make sure because i know them catfish like these perch yeah and back to the topic of uh perch versus bluegill versus what you're supposed to call them just a heads up if you're not from around these parts in louisiana we got different names for everything whether it's right wrong or whatnot we got a different name now nah, casacale that's a crappie we also call them white perch that's a crappie and then you know you got the perch it don't matter what kind of sunfish bluegill red ear sunfish whatnot they all perch basically anything that's not a sockele or a bass is a perch uh and then of course we got the french names for everything like well sockele is a french name for the scalp the duck we call that a dogri for the uh the ibis they call it a uh a becrosh for the ooh, ooh, ooh. for the night heron we call that a, a dog no 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 what they call that what they call that uh a growback that's it so you know we got our own thing going on around here. And no. All right, now I'm curious to see. So we know they got bluegill down there, but I want to see if them cichlids are even down there or they just moved on to something else or whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and throw this cast net and we're going to see. This ain't the cast net we was using earlier. This is actually my older cast net because it's got a few holes in it. I didn't want to throw the brand new one because, uh, I could see a stick right there, you know, telling what's down there. And I don't want to put no holes in the new one or lose it. Because actually, that new one that I got was actually sent to me by one of y'all, one of the subscribers, old JoJo. JoJo sent me that uh, from the from the from the from the Amazon wish list I got down in the description below. So if y'all ever feeling generous, got a few extra dollars that y'all uh, want to support the channel with, you can go down there, click on that, see what's on there send that to me we use that in a video you know what i mean so appreciate you joe joe now let's see what we got going on down here and y'all know i can always use a cast net because i done lost quite a few already doing stuff like this mostly oh we caught the stick and i see some flickering I see some flickering. Oh, wait, I think we got one. I think we got one. Yep. 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 
Well, a bigger one. Oh, look how pretty this guy is. Look at this. Look at this dude. Hold on. Wipe my hands. Look at that. Boy, that's pretty. All right. You get in there. Get back in there. We throw these little, a little perches back. You get in there. You get in there. Got another little one. Here we go. Look at this. That's what I'm after right there. That's what we after. Come here, you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to show you. The, I'm trying to show you to the camera. Look at that, y'all. That's a pretty fish, now. They're real pretty when they get dark black with them turquoise dots. Look at them. So they down there. Might just be too. No, 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 no. Who almost broke the law, y'all? Almost broke the law. Let him go. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna toss it again and see. So they down there, they just might not be hungry. They might not be feeding yet. I'm curious, I wonder if uh, once the sun comes up and it warms up a little bit, if they start biting during the day. Interesting, very, very interesting. All right, I'm gonna toss this one a little further. See if we can't get, well actually, no, let's toss this one right chill. There we go, see what's down there. Yep, yeah, see we hung up on something. But it came loose. Cool, look at all these fish. What do we got? Any cichlids? Nope, look like they all bluegill. Alright, well they got fish down there. Huh. Put them back. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's legal to catch to keep them and perch in a cast net because uh I know it wasn't at one point, but it just recently changed the rule to where you can catch them in traps to use them for bait and stuff. But uh, I don't know if that changed for the cast net. I don't see why you could do one and not the other, but you never know. You know how government be sometimes. Hmm. Oh, that's a little, uh, one little perch. Well, well. Well, all right, let's throw one more again and we might go hit the next spot. Oh, got a little bass, little baby bass right there. All right, what was this little guy? No, nope, that's a little perch. All right, just one cichlid. Well, very, very interesting. All right, well, moving on. All right, well, we're at another spot. I uh, put a worm on here, caught one little little baby bluegill, kind of right there in the middle, and then I've been uh, I don't know, messing around. I ain't caught a whole lot. Had the cork kind of like uh, dance a little bit, but uh, not. Usually when this water's flowing like this, out these culverts, I can usually catch a little bass or something, and then put on this little soft plastic underneath here open a little soccer leg or bass or anything we'll try and get it a bite but so far nothing but i'm about to throw the cast net to see because i'm seeing a whole bunch of stuff kind of hit the top of the water and if i don't i, I know you can't see it with the gopro but there's tons of little baby minnows uh, swimming right there where that water's coming out so there's got to be something down there eating something or something or something something so there's a little swirl right there there's a lot of garfish out here too though, so who, who knows, who knows? All right, let's give this thing a toss off the end over here. Now we're gonna work our way back to the bank, see what we got. Oh, can't be that deep. The top of it's still, I can still see the top of the net right there. I thought it was deeper than that there. Oh, oh, what we got? Little shad, some more little shad. Oh, they got some shad. All right, well, we're gonna keep them. Tell you what, I'm gonna take that small one, I'm gonna put it on that little hook I got. It's a little hook, but who knows? I might get, might be able to grab something with it. Let's do that right quick. Why he's still alive, and I can go put him in a into that pool right there. Alright, 
let's see you never know you know you never know what that was it what that was it right there and i'm just gonna i guess i'm gonna go put this right here it's the only one i see that's close by and then uh well let us do a thing see if something uh something grabs more shad huh sure they got shad everywhere tell you what i'm gonna try right here because i think this is gonna be where they gonna be if they gonna be right here closer more closer to the bank Look at the shad. I mean, everywhere I throw it. All right, we're gonna keep these two, and that'll be plenty for bait. We shouldn't need nothing else, but we will keep. Let's see what we're looking at. Yeah, we'll keep that. And then, if we catch some more cichlids, of course, we'll keep those. But it ain't looking good for the cichlids. All right. Oh, you gotta go back. Ooh, gotta get that out of the way. Ooh, what a mess. That thing done left a mess. All right, y'all, thank goodness for them shadow. We wouldn't be having no bait for tomorrow's uh, jug line fishing trip. But speaking of them shad, y'all, that done give me an idea, because these shad are the perfect size. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump all of these. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good bait to get be enough bait to get started tomorrow for sure uh but yeah speaking of them some actually i need to get a, i need to get a few more case and catfish are really biting so but this is what i want to do i am going to take the cast net and this bait bucket right here with the little bubbler that comes with it and we're going to go catch some uh some more shad to take home to my pool pond bass because i know they hungry y'all can see my jugs right there my my bricks that i use as the weights uh, if y'all don't want to miss that video, you know, make sure you subscribe and got your notifications turned on because uh, we'll be coming at you shortly. But let's go catch some shad so we can feed them to the bass. And then, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out from there. Yeah, I know my bass are hungry. It's been a been a long winter without a whole lot to eat. I mean, their metabolism slows down, so they don't need to eat that much anyway. But uh, I had some hard times trying to find them some bait and stuff to eat, so last time i fed them choo, they was hungry so they're gonna be happy when i get home i'm gonna show y'all a little trick that i do if you can't reach the water like right here i can't reach the water to get this bucket full i take my cast net and i take this handle right here and i just tie it to this like that and then i tie this one like a little loop so you can just pull it when it's done and then you toss it out scoop it out as much water as you need which we're gonna get probably that's good and yeah, let's get a little bit more like that and yeah, let's fill her up there we go that's better yeah, that's better and there you go now your bucket's full of water now you know what's gonna happen the three casts that we made we call shad in every cast and we're gonna go catch a uh we're gonna go toss it out there to keep some bait we ain't gonna catch nothing y'all know how that goes let's see throw it on this side because those were the perfect size not that good of a throw but that's okay nope oh we got a mess of them that is what I'm talking about. Ooh, them bass are gonna be so happy. There's a perch right there that needs to come out. You got anything yet?
I don't get it. That water moving usually gets them stirred up. Birch, whoa. And one shaft. Well, they got some shad too. Yeah. It might be why they're not biting. They got too much uh too much food to eat. Yeah. <laughs> they're not worried about plastics if they got uh, real food. Alright y'all, well that little bubbler isn't uh isn't working. I don't know if the batteries are dead or if it finally just went kaput, but we need to uh kind of move this along. Be quiet, I'm trying to talk. We need to get home quick because uh them shad ain't too exactly. Come on, how did this thing I'm to get this thing out. There it go. There it go. Wasn't cooperating. Anyway, gotta get home real quick because them shad ain't exactly a hardy fish. And they ain't got no air with all them in that little bucket. Probably gonna have a few dead ones when we get back, but that's okay. Cause uh whatever is not alive that the bass won't eat. And catfish ain't as uh, finicky. They eat they eat they eat them. They eat them dead ones. Ain't a problem. So let's hurry up and get home. I'm gonna show y'all how that how that looks when them bass chow down on uh on some shat. Ooh. Ooh, back of my Jeep's wet now. Ooh. That looks like a lot of dead shad, y'all. <laughs> Matter of fact, that looks like all dead shad. Oh no. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's uh not quite what we we're trying for, but let's see. The bass are hungry enough. I can kind of fool them. See if I can grab just the tail and and we'll see if we can just wiggle it. Because sometimes I can just wiggle this thing. And if they see it coming. so much well all right i just fooled one that big bass right there i don't know if y'all can see him but let's try this this is what i did i just stuck him in there and made it look like he was swimming and then oh can't fool him a good way he might he might yep he got him he got him i don't know if y'all can see that but he got him all right let's try it this one Oh, this water's cold. Yeah, it's hard to fool them. I mean, it was a good idea. Ooh, they hear me coming. What about you ladies? Y'all want some shad? Let's see if they like this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh yeah. Eat up girls. Oh, I might have to bring you some more if you like it that much. Cho. Y'all not so much? Well, the chickens don't mind a dead shad at all. But since I promised y'all, uh, got y'all all excited about watching the bass feed, we'll go toss some of these worms because I know they'll eat these worms. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Give them a little something for their belly. Give y'all a little something for their eyes. Everybody wins. Oh, I saw the big one there. Yeah, let's see. Can y'all see that? Where's he at? Yeah. That's his head right up in there. Oh, there you go. Now you can see him real good. Oh, 
No, it's focusing on the water instead of through the water. There we go. I dropped it straight down, see what happens. Let me get it, big dude. Whoop. Yeah, they don't mind the worm floating like it's dead. Let's see what else is hungry. Got him. I'm only seeing the big bass though. I don't know what a little one is. There you go. Oh, no, that's one of the bluegill. One, that's the red-eared sunfish right there. Put you one right there. Let's see it down. Poop. That dude got big. It's a different one. Guess the bass ain't that hungry. Usually he races to it and beats them to it.